Hi. <clears throat> right. Uh, this is a sort of half a size I usually do. This, this is seven and a half by eleven. Uh, I'm thinking what to what to do. I, I, I want to try to do a dark, stormy, abstracty type of sky. Uh, one that you might not see in in, in, in a lifetime, but. Uh, and then superimpose against the sky some fishermen's cottages and a bit of a beach scene. But how it ends up, well, it's in the lap of the gods. So we'll start. I've got. I'll, I'll just clean a bit of my palette off first. Just get that greeny colour out of my white. Now my my colours are my usual colours on the acrylic palette. So if you're a first time looker, go back on some of the earlier acrylics and uh, give all the information. Uh, but I will give a bit of praise for the Masterson Stay Wet palette. It's a plastic box, absolutely magnificent, comes with, we buy membranes for it. Uh, a superb piece of equipment, I've had this one years they're not, not expensive. <coughs> Probably the best on the market. Right, okay, let's pick up an inch varnish brush, Pro Art varnish brush. Uh, we'll mix a bit of bit of white with a lump of blue and a bit of black. But keep want to keep the, 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 the this on the on the blue side. Just see what happens to this. The thing with acrylic is that you can change it very, very quickly when it dries, which is minutes or rather seconds. I'll just cover the whole the whole paper. It's a bit of Fabriano, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be an old tin can. The acrylic seems to stick to anything if it's primed right. And this is primed with a bit of uh, a bit of burnt sienna with a bit of PVA glue. Uh, you don't need to prime the paper with, with it, but it stops it from crogling while you're painting. And I, I've i um, painted both sides with the with the acrylic varnish, glue. Once something's accounts have changed, lots of light against. This bit of Bit of burnt umber with that mess. Okay, That'll do for a start, and we'll put a bit of a beach in. Uh, I, I, I just want to put this in with a bit of a bit of a beachy colour, burnt umber. Uh, and a bit of yellow ochre and I'll go over this with a painting knife to add my texture just to see where we go and I put a bit of a C in right that'll do for a horizon I did one of these last week or the week before I quite enjoy doing doing these An artist that inspires me with these particular views is uh, Georges Laporte, a French, I believe he's a Brittany artist, I've been to his uh, gallery and studio in Quiberon and I love his work, Georges Laporte, L-A-P-O-R-T-E, one word. <coughs> look him up on Google, go and have a look at his gallery. <coughs> He puts everything in his beach scenes and his coastal scenes except the seaweed, uh, <coughs> sand, all sorts of stuff to thicken up the, to make a brilliant impasto. Right, now against that we're going to, I'm going to put a light source in the sky because I want to make my trees a bit lighter than the ones I did last week. But I want to just put in some rocky, some rocky, 
coming along here. Very rocky coast parts of Brittany. Oh, we're a bit of yellow in there. I'm not mixing my colours very much, I just want to... Right, okay. Let's put in some trees now on the top here. And I can superimpose some nice cottages on these colours here. Let's I'll go over that and let's try with a, another bit of uh, well, I can't remember what I was going to say, I got carried away, as I do. Sometimes I need carrying away. Well, a little bit of blue in there. It doesn't show yet because I haven't modified the sky, but we can whack on some cottages in that when it dries. Right, get this over here, these rocks. Just Bunch of colour in here, a bit of a ridgy grey. Right, that's a nice mess, isn't it? Right, let's, let's do a bit in the foreground now. Black mixed with a bit of this is only an underpainting, it's, this is uh, just um, all right. Okay, uh, let's go back in the sky now. Oh, I've got some paint left on my brush. Whatever you do, keep your brushes very clean because acrylic, once it's dry, ruin them. It's difficult to. Methylated spirits, I think that's called denatured alcohol in America, is a solvent when you get it on your clothes, but, well, don't get it on your clothes. I'm wearing a uh, an apron over this. I bought it online, but it wasn't as big as I'd hope it would be. So I'm on the lookout for something that would cover my knees. Alright, let's get a bit of a bit of light in here. I'm not going to keep that there, I'm to, this will be modified over the... Uh, I will modify the clouds, the dark bit will... But it's good... I'm just, just, I'm not got a sky in mind, I'm just making it up as I go along, knowing that I can change, change it. 
then I thicken up the uh, and modify that dark. Right now, I want to just put a bit of black and yellow just on here, just to counter change against that bit of sky there. Okay, keeping brushes clean. I've got half a dozen of these inch brushes. I've got three that I haven't used yet that I bought in July. Bought in July. I want to go back in. I just want to build on that water. I want to change the colour, maybe some somewhat bit of. When you paint horizons, bring your horizon into the sky and the sky into the, like into the sea. Trying to replicate oh, the reflections of the uh, sky so far in the water as it comes into the shore. Okay. I'm going to bring that headland out there a little bit beyond this one here. That's in front of it, so let's just right now. We want some grayer color. I like using black. Right, now I, I need a platform for the uh, the houses. Uh, right. Okay. I'll take another brush, um, got a half inch flat here, but this is all roughly painted so I want a sort of rough houses as well, so nice white, so maybe a touch of ochre. Be a little bit darker than that, I think. I'll model that in a minute. That's just what you missed that coming up here. Now, a nice black roof. Oops.
Right, now we'll put in a bit of bit of nice greeny sky. I mean trees. And a bit of grey, bluey grey here for the shadow side of that. Whoops. A little bit wider there, I think. Right, okay, that, that'll do for my house. We'll put in some little windows. Okay, so that's one. That shows up against the dark. Now, Let's put in a, another slightly smaller, this one. Oops, those um, roofs have got to shine up. They would be slate. Now we just do the bit of magic around the edge of that. And that's too, the side is too, just a bit too dark. Right, okay, we'll uh, go back to the sky now, I think. Clean the brushes first, finish my tea, which is getting cold. Um, I don't like my windows in uh, the right hand house, so let's find a little brush. Just nice thing about acrylic is it doesn't smell. Just put a little bit of bit of lighter colour in in here, it's just a little bit. Okay, that'll do. Now, sky. Right, now, get into the sky now. See how quickly you can go over that, all this and soften it, blue and uh, ultramarine now, bit of white. Thank you. 
get some warm in. Building up the texture in this guy. I have to really touch that up a little bit. Just putting a bit of lighter sky in here. put my darker trees shapes back against this. Oops, where did that come from? So when you start your painting, it's killing, you're killing the canvas or paper. You're just getting some paint on it. bit of light, bit of ochre, bit of white, bit of red. A lot of sports on today. England playing Fiji. That's never an easy fixture. <clears throat> the team Crystal Palace are playing Man City. We'd be lucky to get anything out of that one. We're struggling a little bit. about the sky yet let's go back over the uh, over the beach now this is where it gets interesting that's uh, I'll put a couple of boats and things on this So rough, rocky foreground. You can do a lot of rough stuff with the uh, with a knife.
I love doing this. Bit of burnt umber and a bit of yellow ochre, just for some rough. Oh, it cools my wrist. That's oh, just mingle it all in. I'm gonna put a little bit of. colour back in there because I've just got a bit too heavy handed there. Got to separate that a little bit there. Right let's go back and get that house in with a nice white. Oops. Shown too much of that. So, bit of yellow, bit of black. Not quite right, is it? Just make that slightly blue, I think, that side of that house, just to lay it back a little bit. So if I'm asking you. All right, now we'll put in some, some nice greeny, Oh, a bit of Viridian. A bit of a bluey, light bluey green on the horizon, but more blue than green. That's probably not going to show very well. Oh, where's my little green? I like to mix a bit of red with my greens as well, my dark greens, just to give it a little bit of warm. Uh, I'm not sure that looks right. That one looks okay. I'm not bothered with that one.
Right, okay, let's uh, I'll just um, reclip this paper, it's just a little bit bouncy now. Oh, I still think I'm finished my tea. Mm. I don't like cold tea. <coughs> oh, it's a very cold day today, or again. Right, now we'll do a little bit more to the sky now. Let's find another brush. Um, this little one here. Yellow, that was a bit of black on that, so I'll just have to clean that. Now, do I want the light underneath? I really do, I think. show that horizon. Sorry about my head in the mouth. I'll just soften it. spots on there. Uh, right, let's put in some uh, boats. A little white boat. That's a little bit flat. Let's uh, 
scumbled over that just to break up that flat scene with my sort of grey Still needs a bit more brilliance, one little bit of going up here a bit. Just fiddling around now, poking and prodding. Okay, I'm going to, going to let that go, I think. I'm maybe a little, little bit here. I think maybe that boat is a little bit too big. Uh, but that one... The shadow on that side. Uh, that green. I'm not quite happy with my little house there, that colour. Just put a little bit of Don't about that that white bits are there. Yeah, they got there. Eh? Maybe that boat there is a little bit too big. Let's just paint it smaller. It's got to be in scale with a house, really. And there's a bit of, a bit of shadow in there. Bit of, bit of rocky 
stuff there. Right, I'll put it in a mount, we'll have a, have a look at it. Uh, a bit of tape. <coughs> So I can get it really. So there we are. It's uh, one of my little inspirations from George Laporte. I have fun with these sort of foregrounds, the beach scenes. Just uh, just do them quickly as I did, and just put lots of colour in it, it <coughs> and try to make it look rough, as if there's a lot going going on in there. Uh, <coughs> I'll just bring my camera around a bit. Right, let's zoom in. So we'll go to the houses and the background there. Um, that, I've sort of lost that, haven't I? Oh, I'm glad I looked. Let's just get a bit more black. Just reinstate that bit there. Better. Right. Okay, let's come into the beach now. Got rocky, pebbly, bit of sand, bit of wet, bit of reflection of the light coming through. Only a little bit, but just a little boat anchor there. Just little fishing boats. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.